All right, time for sports. Aaron's in for Myra tonight, and what a weekend it was for Island football fans. What a weekend. You can say that again. Mm -hmm. It was the defending high school football AAA Rams game to lose in the BCFC final at BC Place on Saturday night, but the boys in purple and gold didn't disappoint against a Vancouver College team fighting to restore their program to glory after capturing the crown two years ago. And to nobody's surprise, the Rams were led by BCFC Player of the Year, Marcus Davis, who ran early and often as the school sprinted out to an insurmountable lead and never looked back. Rams fans flying the colors proudly. They like what they see early. Fourth and ten Irish. They are going to take it to the air and they get pressured into the interception. Brian Dowds, he's been doing it all year long, hauls it down. The Rams take it to the ground. Senior Mason Swift, what a play. The acrobatic swan dive for the touchdown. Then adding insult to injury, dying seconds of the first, Marcus Davis from the Rams 39. He finds a lane and takes off. Cuts back, and now he's got the corner. Watch out. Can he turn it into six? That is pretty to watch and returns at 65 yards to the 14-0 lead after the first second quarter. Davis is going to do it again from the Rams 14. Looks like the kid is running on coals. He just finds space everywhere on the field. This one's an 86-yard run for the 20-0 lead. And the Rams' defense, equally impressive. Number 51, Sheldon Mack. This is one of two quarterback sacks on the night. He is jacked. He's going to add an interception seconds before the Rams take a 37-7 lead into halftime, making Dad proud, and no less, who is in the stands. And how about quarterback Ashton McKinnon? Late in the third, he completes a 20-yard pass to Dowds. 118 yards, two TD strikes, 42 yards on the ground. A complete team effort in the 51-14 victory of the Rams. The first team since 2000 to win back-to-back -back Subway Bowl crowns. We definitely came out firing. Um, they, uh, they didn't match our intensity at all uh, and definitely uh, played our best game both on offense and, and defense, and uh, we stuck to our game plan and, um, and just uh, had a balanced, uh, balanced football game. We thought it was going to be a big challenge, which it was during the first few, uh, first few quarters. Uh, we just kept on, uh, we had our foot on the pedal and we just kept going. Whew, watch out next year. Well, the weekend started out stellar for the Victoria Grizzlies. A 6-1 romp over the Nanaimo Clippers on Friday, followed by a 4-2 win over the Cowichan Valley Capitals Saturday. But three games and three nights caught up with them on Sunday, where they had trouble solving Langley Riverman goalie James Barr. <laughs> Barr actually gets a little help from the crossbar there, facing Jerry Fitzgerald, who had a hat trick on Friday night. Halfway through the second period, though, Langley, they are going to add to their goal barrage. Evan Anderson making good on his trade from the Alberni Valley Bulldogs with a snapshot, 3 0. And before the frame is out, Thomas Nisha's slap shot misses, goes right around, and Mario Piscarich dumps it in. 4 0 after two, but the Grizz, they do make good on the teddy bear toss night in the third. A short handed Miles Powell. Great pressure. A little bit of shaky camera work, but he gets the lone goal uh, for the Grizzlies. That is four points in three games for him. The Grizz dropped the 5-1 decision, though. Uh, while clinging on to top spot in the Island Division, they are still two points up on Port Alberni. Well, a loyal crowd on hand at JBA Bay's JBA Bay's uh, stomping ground Saturday, hosting the Castaways. Last game before Christmas, and it was a defensive battle early under leaking skies. They would get on the board first, Peter Gillespie with a try, but this kick block gathered and run in by Mike Dawson. It would spark the Wonders, followed by Fraser Lyles. He gets the conversion for the 10 7 lead. He does not stop there. Neither does the CW pressure, forcing a James Bay transgression. Another successful kick by Lyle. They go up 13 7, but before the half is out, back rower Andrew to Goody. It is absolutely pouring. He goes streaking in for the try. And that James Bay for the 14-13 lead. But it was all CW in the second half. Lau with a rarely seen play in Premier. The drop kick goal. Those will be the only points of the half, giving them the narrow 16-14 victory. Fraser Lyle, he was named the man of the match by his CW counterparts. 
Well, Saturday being December 1st is the traditional date for many people to put up their Christmas trees and the Uvic bikes are offering up a seasonal deal on some luscious models. The entrance to Centennial Stadium has been transformed into a tree lot and for every tree sold, profits go directly to helping the track and field team achieve faster results on the rubber. Yeah. From Grand Furs to Douglas Furs, the pine, or pine fresh selection rather is vast. At the 14th annual tree sale, the locally grown trees are from the Couch and Valley. One of this year's goals is to support athletes running in the World University Cross Country Championships in Poland and the North American version to be held in Trinidad, Tobago. But that's on top of an already heavy travel schedule. We go to some big races um, throughout Canada. And as well, we go down into the western states, um, like Seattle, and do some races. And right around the end of school, we usually have a training camp um, in Arizona um, that kind of piggybacks on the National uh, Training Center. So we get to work with some of those guys down there. The tree lot is full, uh, or just off McGill Road, rather, in an open and open daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. until December 21st. Last year, the fundraiser sold 1,000 trees. This year, the program has upped its performance goal to 1,200 with the help of a little alumni loyalty. Nice. I Did might buy my Christmas yet? tree from there. No. It's still too soon? Yeah, no, I've just been busy. Yeah. All my uh, ornaments are stacked, oh, though. Ready I'm ready to go. go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, big congrats to the Rams. Uh, big thanks to the coaches and the parents and everybody who has made this such a season. Yeah. And you're right about next year. Uh, they only graduate nine. Scary. Uh, and Mason and, and Brian and, and some of the other guys are mm -hmm. will be gone next year, but it's a good-looking year next year. Which means you can still keep cheering. <laughs> well, we're impartial here, but, you know, when your kid's playing, it's pretty hard to do that. And yeah. Sheldon had a terrific game. Very okay. exciting. Very Congrats proud. to all the boys. All right. Thank you. You're